Hey guys, so in this section I want to talk about JavaScript events and event handlers. And an event is basically just something that happens when an action has taken place in the browser. Um, here we have a list of events. We have abort, which isn't too popular. Um, this occurs when the user cancels the loading of an image. Um, blur, which is usually used in forms, form fields, uh, it occurs when input focus is removed from a form element. So that's when, say, you're, you click in a form and then you click out of it. That's a blur. And on the opposite of that, we have focus, which is when you click in an input. Um, click is a very popular one. Obviously, that's when something is clicked. Um, change is when the value of a form field is changed by the user. Uh, error. I'm not going to go through all of them, but we have uh, mouse over and mouse out are also very popular. So if you hover over something and if you hover out of it, um, and we also have load and unload. So we can um, we can do something when the page loads or when the browser window loads. So to deal with events, we can use event handlers, which are basically um, just HTML attributes. So these are just some examples. We have on click, on mouse over, on focus, pretty much on and then the name of the event. So let's get into it and I will show you how they work. Uh, I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, this is chapter 2, section 5. All right, and I'm just going to put this document right in there. And I'm going to create my HTML document. Open that up and just paste in some HTML. Now the first event that we'll look at is load, is when the page loads. All right, And we can add the onload event handler right to the body. So we can say when the body load so on load equals and in here we can add a function all right so in the last section we learned about functions so let's just do let's run a function called say hi and we actually want to return so we'll return this function all right so what we want to do is in the head tag create our script tags and we'll create this function function say hi and we're gonna alert now alert I haven't really gone over alert and prompts but an alert is when you get that pop-up um, it's just pretty much a, a just a browser pop-up and different browsers do it in different ways so I'll show you that now. So we just want to alert and we'll just say hi. So what we're saying is when the body loads on load, we want this function to run. So if we save this and reload, we get the JavaScript alert which says hi. So that's that's events and event handling um, in its simplest form. Uh, let's do something else to get rid of this. And let's see, let's let's use a click function. So we'll create a button with the value of let's say click me. I'm sorry, it's not value. I'm thinking of a submit button. Why is this not typing? Sorry guys. I'm using a virtual machine so I keep clicking in and out of it. Alright, so we have a button that says click me. Obviously it's not going to do anything right now, um, but what we can do is add an event handler. We could say on click. We want to return. We'll use the same function, say hi. So if we reload that and click, we get our alert. So that's how event handlers work. Let's just do a few more. Um, 
let's see. Let's get, let's uh, create an H1, which is a heading. Uh, this is a heading. All right, so we have this H1. This is a heading. Now let's add a, let's do a mouse over. So we'll say on mouse over. We'll have a function and we'll call that, let's see, return. We'll say change me. All right, so when we hover over this H1, a function is going to run called change me. So I'm going to copy that. And up here, I'm going to throw in this change me. And what we can do, uh, we can actually grab, let's give this an ID. We'll say, we'll just give it an ID of heading. Now, we can grab that with document dot get element by ID. Okay, and the ID we want to get is heading. So we have that. Let's actually put that in a variable. We we'll sell variable heading. Now, when this change me runs, we're going to say uh, heading dot. Now, remember, a variable or anything really is an object. So we can call um, methods and properties on the object. So I'm going to call inner HTML. And what this does is it sets the HTML of that object. So whatever is between the, these H1 tags we can actually change it using this syntax. So we'll change this, we'll say no kidding. So if I save this and reload and then we hover over then it changes to no kidding. Now even if this is a, a h1 tag is a block level element which means it reaches across the entire browser so even if I hover over it over here it's gonna change. Now we don't have a mouse on an on mouse out event, so it's just going to stay at no kidding. So let's actually give it a on mouse out, and we'll give that a function of change me back. And I'm just going to copy this, and I'm sure you know where this is heading. We're just going to add on back, and we're going to change this back to this is a heading. So let's save that, and now if we reload, if we go in and mouse over, it, it changes to no kidding, and we go out, and it changes back to this is a heading. So some some really simple event handling and let's see what else do I want to do let's do a little bit with forms so I'm gonna get rid of all this and let's just create a simple form and we'll give this an input type of text uh, we'll say name equals a okay, name equals name And we'll put a line break. And then we want a submit. So input type equals submit. Value equals submit. All right, so if we save that. So now we have this, this one field form uh, with a field called name. So let's add a couple event handlers to this input tag. Uh, I'm going to say on focus, we're going to return a function called focus in. And I'm going to copy this and paste. And we're going to say on blur, 
Remember, on focus is when you click into the element and on blur is when you click out. So we're gonna call this function blur out. All right, so let's create these real quick. All right, so all we're gonna do is alert. And we'll say, I am in the field, copy that. And we'll say I am out of the field. Okay, so I'm gonna save that and reload. And if we click inside, we get an alert saying I'm in the field. And if we click out, we get an alert that says I am out of the field. So this gives you an idea of how we can use form validation with JavaScript. Um, obviously, this has nothing to do with validation, um, you know, showing this alert. But we could say, uh, if this if this input field is blank, then show an alert saying, uh, please fill in the required fields or something like that. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in the project in this section. So we'll be getting more into event handling then.